Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. Well, um, um, what, what I want today is peaceful. I want peace. I want peace. Peace. Peaceful and easy. Um, man, we have just been on a roller coaster ride the last few episodes, uh, doing uh, uh, doing doing the storyline, basically advancing the uh, storyline in chapter three. And uh, man, I tell you, it takes uh, it takes a toll on me, man. <laughs> it does. So peaceful and easy. Peaceful and easy is the uh, is the word for the day. Uh, let me, yeah, get my big head out of there and let's see what the game wants to do. I know what I want to do. Uh, we got rich. And uh, we did. We got rich. We robbed a bank and I found out that Arthur can crack safes. Shock. Ah, I cracked we I cracked four. I cracked four safes. We got twenty thousand dollars. I think Arthur's cut brought him up to look at that. I wanna see that I wanna see that flashing again. Is that lightning or is that uh, yeah, it's lightning. I, I like that. Uh anyway, um Arthur's cut uh got him up to about three grand. I mean that's in 1899 he's uh he's well off now so we're gonna spend that money <laughs> we're gonna spend some money honey um i want to buy two schofields uh, everybody is saying that that is the uh, best handgun in the game and i don't doubt you so we're gonna buy two now i i missed on getting a free one on a previous mission and and i know you guys in the comments say, hey man you can go back and, and get that thing but I don't want to because it's in Valentine and we are not in Valentine and it gets me wanted and uh, it's it's uh, a lot easier to just go buy two of them because we can't afford it. So hey Arthur, it's night time and it's autosave alert time. So I think what we're gonna do here Oh, let's look. Um, I don't even know. I think all we have is the uh, star-crossed lovers, um, which we should get to actually, and finish this. I don't know if this would finish the story arc with Bo and Penelope. I don't know, but it's not. It, it, I'll get to it. it. It's just not in my plan. Um, And my plan is peaceful and easy. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to avoid uh, getting into any more serious gunfights. My gosh, I think I've had a belly full of those for a little bit. And I don't want to get stale, you know. If you keep doing the same type of stuff over and over again, uh, I get stale. I don't know if you do, you know. I, I do. I do. And, and I want to stay fresh. Uh, let's, uh, let's see if there's any chow. Don't wake the girls up, Arthur. Um, doesn't look like there is. She's a hard oh, English. flash packet. The dress is coming. Her eyes are I can feel some shudai coming on. <laughs> she sails to the westward where stormy winds blow. Javier has a good voice. Well, goodbye, fair you. Wow. 
to Goodbye, you. Fairy world. Goodbye, Fairy World. Pearson, world. Pearson, uh, you're off key, Bubba. Where the boys and girls on the pier head do flock. Si la comprendo, mi bola puedo expresar. We're bound to go. They give three loud cheers while the tears downward flow. Goodbye, fare well. Goodbye, fare well. I like that one. Well, round away in the dreadnought to westward we'll go. Hurrah, me boys, we're bound to nice. Well, there you go. Thank you, game. <sighs> Thank you, game, for letting me uh, start peaceful and easy. <laughs> oh, you wearing the badge around here? Yeah, he was always wearing his badge. I like the badge. Um, uh, where's the chow wagon? Chuck wagon is uh, this way. But I don't see any. Um, I don't see the pot up. So we'll just uh, we'll bed down. For the night. Peaceful, huh? Peaceful and easy. There's Kaylee Bell. We gotta get into town and get the spelling right on her name. I didn't spell it right. I'm I am not fluent in French. <laughs> uh, by any means. But I like the name, Kaylee Bell. So let us this sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly. Shut up. He's right. So they were having a fight in the last episode, and they're having another fight. So stormy weather for uh, Dutch and Molly. It's only three hours if he sleeps. I mean, that sounds like me. That's how much sleep I get. Um, let's go for nine. <laughs> Uh, put, putting up two videos a day, man, I end up uh, going to bed at like, uh, you know, 3.30 in the morning, my time. So, um, not going to get two videos today because, uh, believe it or not, I do have a, a real life and sometimes real life calls, you know, and you got to take, you know, you got to tend to real life. And I am going to take a quick break. Um, and you say, man, you just started. How were you taking a break so soon for? Well, no, I did not just start. Uh, you know, um, I spent a lot of time reading comments and, um, um, doing other things, uh, maintenance, uh, things and set up things for the channel. So no, I did not just start and I do need a little bit of a break right now. I'll be right back at you. Smoke them if you got them. All right. I really, I really do cherish, uh, the comments, the comment section, uh, just completely unexpected when I started this. And so um, um, I do get the most joy out of um, what I'm doing here uh, from the comments. I really do. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, what we're going to weapons locker, I have never gone into. So what I want to do is offload some of these. The Cattleman Revolver, the, the trusty 45. Uh, is going to get retired. Oh no, I, what did I just do? Um, a store and locker. No, a store and locker. No. See the buttons. That's jumping. Why is it my D pad jumping? It's jumping. Uh, what, what did I just do? I was so watch what? Did I just store a whole bunch of stuff? What did I just do? Um, <laughs> what did I, bow. I want to keep the bow. Dang it. Uh, sorry. Ah. Uh, uh, the Lancaster, which is a Winchester, we're going to keep. The carbine, on the other hand, can be retired. There, okay. Uh, that's why. It's just a real quick uh, thing. 
Uh, the Springfield can be retired because we picked up the M1. Well, it's not an M1. The M1 didn't come about till World War II. Wouldn't that be great to have a Garand, uh, a Garand uh, M1, uh, you know, with a mag, uh, you know, semi-automatic uh, M1? That would be, yeah, that would be cheating, actually. But, <laughs> but I think uh, what we picked up was this bolt-action rifle, and that's going to replace um, the Springfield. It's also going to replace the rolling block because this, just so I don't have to carry, I, I mean, this bolt action, once we upgrade it, we'll get that into test. One of the things we're going to spend some money on is upgrading this bolt action. It's going to replace uh, the rolling block. I did put that away. It's going to replace the Springfield. Um, and uh, what did I just put away? I thought I just put the Springfield away. Oh, I did. There we go. I got to look in here. So it's like in the box. Right, right, right. Um, <clears throat> the Winchester will keep it. They call it a Lancaster. It's a Winchester. Uh, we'll put away the sawed off because we're going to buy two Schofields. So we'll dual wield two Schofields and, um, the bolt action will take care of, uh, long range. I mean, uh, the bolt action is probably really the next generation of the Springfield rifle. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a, an expert. I'm not a, a, a gun expert, but I do know some things. I think the bolt action, I think the, that we picked up is actually uh, the next um, generation on the Springfield. Um, and then that, of course, led into the M1 eventually. I think, I don't know. I, I'm Like I said, I'm not an expert. We do want the sawed-off shotgun put away. We're keeping the Winchester, the 22, the Bolt. Uh, we're keeping the bow. Um, so what pistols does that leave me? Grangers and Flacos to go into town with. I think that's pretty darn good right there. And... Um, Uh, we don't need to equip the bow, but it, it is. Um, I, I I don't think Chow will be ready, and I don't want to get into anything. Is Micah on a cell phone over here? What's he doing? I think Micah pulled out his cell phone. Hey, man, no cell phones in camp. I've lost my mind, Mr. Morton. Again? Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. No, I'm just a fool. Just well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. Calm down. <laughs> Chill. Um, go find your. Go look for your brain. Apparently, uh, the Reverend has two brains. One is lost, and the other one's out looking for it. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Pearson. Pearson. Is this, is this ready? Pearson, you are the slowest cook. Oh, it's ready. So we're still peaceful and easy, except for the disturbing of the peace by Dutch and Molly. They seem, um, I imagine we're going to, that story arc is going to, um, It doesn't look like it's going to play out too good for Molly, but that's, you know, that's what she gets for being with a narcissist. Um, you know, don't hook up with narcissists, man. We got a question mark. This is going to disturb the peace, too. You know what would be cool? Is if uh, Arthur steals Molly away from Dutch, right? That would be cool. I would like to see that story arc. So, so Arthur could steal Molly away, you know, uh, you know uh, from Dutch. And then, like, uh, you know, the two of them could head out to California and uh, pan for gold. You know, find a, find a, set themselves up with a gold miner or Alaska. Go to Alaska. They hit a uh, big gold uh, rush up in Alaska as well. Colorado as well. Yeah, hey, all right. Enough of that. He's not going to steal Molly away from Dutch. I know that. Uh, but we can do some chores and improve our, um... is this a chore? Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Uncle, uh, black dots of chores. What is this chore gonna be? Oh, hey, let's do some chores. We haven't done chores in 
uh, quite a while, actually. We can just drop this off over by the ponies. Make sure my horse gets some. Well, you could do that yourself. I bet them horses sure appreciate that. I bet they do. Finding the right spot is always a challenge. And this should improve our uh, dead eye. And our honor. Well, how about that? Hey, Caleb Bell, how you doing, baby? How you doing, baby? Alright, um, let's see what that question mark is. This is probably going to disturb the piece. But I know if I don't do it, it will disappear. Why don't you sit, Arthur? So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine, for now. Yep, should buy us a bit of time, I hope. Hey, somebody else is doing chores. Look at that. Alright, before we do the question mark, we'll do one more chore. Peaceful and easy. I got a peaceful, easy feeling about this episode. Hi there. You okay? Um, he, he seems to be all right. You okay, Arthur? Uh, hello. You want to talk? Yeah, I'll be right back. I will. I'll be. I'll be right back, Tilly. Don't go anywhere, man. Keep your white. Keep the white question mark there for me. I know that uh, oh, there's, an, uh, oh, 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 there's a question mark over here. Did the question mark move? The white question mark? Did that move? Um, um I thought it was Tilly. Oh, hi Arthur. Hi. You're free to sit, but I'm in a state. Okay, just want to put these down, y'all. I just, um, you know, Arthur, you have the hardest time um, putting things down. Uh, I, good grief. H Arthur, it's not complicated. Can we eat soon, Pearson? Not long now. Dutch belly aching. That a boy. You can do it. You can do it, Arthur. All right. So we got some more positive stuff. Um, let's get over to that uh, white question mark. Um, don't tell me it went bye-bye. Uh, there's a white M. You know, <laughs> I want to go into town and spend my money, honey. The white question mark disappeared. And now we have five-finger filet with Micah. Micah... Yeah, you can put your five-finger filet where the sun don't shine. Um, what happened? What happened to my question mark? The longer I stay in camp, the more distractions I'm going to get from my plan, Sam. Oh, we already ate. Hey, it was good. Mr. Morgan. Um, you know, I lost the white question mark. Well, okay, let's go to town and spend some money. Watch this, as soon as I pull out of town, I camp. It's gonna, um, it's gonna bring up the white question mark. You wanna bet? Dang it, I missed the white question mark. That irritates me. Okay, uh, first stop, uh, Gunsmith. Did I put my hat on? Hey, 
What a beautiful day. Got some bunny rabbits. Oh, aren't they cute? Ah, uh, let's get weapons. So, oh, the Mauser. I wanted to put the Mauser away. Dang it. it. Looks like I'm stuck with it. Double action revolver and a Mauser. Um. Let's put the Winchester here. I said, let's put the... Okay, so, but uh, somehow I drew the... Uh, thing. Let's put this uh, bolt action, our brand new... Our brand new baby here. And... I believe we're good. But is the 22 available? It is. Okay. Double barrel shotgun. I wanted to put that away too. We'll do that later. Um, let's get the the Lancaster back. And why do they call it a Lancaster? It just call it a Winchester for crying out loud. Yep. All right. Call it what it is. Now, I guess maybe they would have had to pay uh, Winchester to use their name. That's probably what it is. Yeah. You know what? Let us. Let's get some turkeys. I gotta use dead eye to kill a turkey. Dinner is served. Get these back to Pearson. It's a three star. I don't need a, a turkey. I, let me look at my list. I don't believe a, a turkey pelt is uh, necessary for the... Uh... No, turkey pelt is not part of the... Um, um, what is it? A satchel improvement thing. And when we're in town, we, we'll, we'll get her name spelled right. Um, can you hold two, girl? Should be able to. I wonder if she can hold three. Um, oh, looky here, we got buzzards coming. Are those is all the buzzards coming to eat my eat my game? I just killed. think she can I don't think she can carry another one. Oh, another three star cool nice and easy peaceful and easy I like it what do we get okay we got some meat and whatnot um, I don't think she can hold another one but let's find out Yeah, it's not letting me stow it. Can I carry it back to town? Can I carry it to Pearson? Can we can we bring three that way? No. <laughs> he just throws it on the ground. <laughs> yeah. And we got buzzards. Sorry, girl. Yep. Well, we can skin these and get some meat anyway. 
That's a hawk. Pluck. Should get some uh, flight feathers for this, yeah. Hold it up. Well, now, you should take a look at yourself. Who's that guy? Um, what's your problem, buddy? I'll be out of your way in a second. Yeah, move on. All right, let's get, let's get, let's get this to Pearson. That's cool, girl. That's camp down yonder, right? Where's it yeah. Peaceful and easy. I'm enjoying this. I need it. I need a little peaceful and easy. After those uh, last few episodes. Oh, where's the camp? Oh, it's on the other side? Good fish. But we won't. We're going to get into town and spend money. This money is burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah, the food is red. Well, well, we can we can fix that. <laughs> You've been drinking again, Arthur. What the? <sighs> Good grief. Uh, Kane, Kane, you you're not supposed to be doing that. Kane. Like who? We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Yeah, just you well here. How about this? How about some plump bird meat, huh? How about that? Huh? I'm gonna keep one for myself. How about this? You learn quick. Keeping that I wanna keep one for me. Are these um Crafting. Well, he can have a couple of them. I think. Price, I mean, these are easy to make get. Sure you get a good price for it. I'll keep one. I'll keep Many one. Get both of those. Um, I believe that's about all we're gonna do here. Oh, here we go. All right. Let me see, Miss Roberts. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Turkey for dinner. Arthur. All right, without any more distractions, Get into town. Yeah. I am dying to see these Schofields that y'all uh, keep telling me are the best uh, pistols in the game. And I, they probably should be. nag. I mean, guy gives me a compliment and then he takes a left turn and calls her a nag. A left-handed compliment. What is that? How did you do that? How did you get airborne like that? That was pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of food here. So like, I could just use, uh, I don't need that game um, um, uh, bait, uh, carnivore bait. 
I mean, you can just um, shoot an animal and, and leave its carcass there, you know, and set up, put yourself up off in the distance and wait for um, the other animals to come and um, pick out your carcass that you left. Hey, we got something white. You know, is this going to ruin my peaceful and easy? Well, we have something white, so we got to do it, or it disappears. Hey, y'all. Hi, mister. What are we going to do? Oh. <laughs> What you want? You okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. That's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Oh. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My old house. House my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different Can life. I pause it? How how do they get the facial expression so good? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it is amazing. Uh, the expression in the eyes, especially, is just. I mean, it's it's so real. How do they do that? I. Me too. If only see the subtlety. I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Nice. Old pistol. Uh oh, I wasn't paying attention. My ledger. So these Where's are things I'm gonna again? have to pick up Thompson from his Stead. house. A, north of Scarlet Meadows. All right. <laughs> Banks says I can't I, go near it. I hope you out. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, absolutely. Time. Time is hell. Time is hell. Well, so is that it for that? That was cool, actually. Very cool. Well, get over here, girl. Yep, yep. Come on. Well, just follow me, then. And I gotta fix the spelling on her name. There is a stable. Oh, we got another white going on. I saw a white circle there for just a brief second. Somebody's getting in a fight. Well, it, it, flat, it came and went, the white circle. I saw my friend's dime. I, I saw my leg get eaten by hey, a Hey, folks, you break the piece off, here so again, gonna end bad for you. I didn't break the... When did I break? Oh, yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> Gunsmith? Gunsmith, here we are, folks. Can I hitch? No, I can hitch over here. Let's get her out of the road. You gonna you gonna jump off into the uh, water trough there, buddy? <laughs> I thought Arthur was gonna jump into the uh, water. Uh, what is? Oh, there's another white. Um, hold on. Another question mark for another sketch. All right, let's go see what he's on about.
This was a there was a fella here the other night walking around calling for somebody. I can't remember who he was calling for. That was kind of weird. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I, I, am I sitting in the wrong place? Excuse me? You're no, fine. I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. You did not offend get your me. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and oh, I apologize no. for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. What? Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Okay, another side stole mission. Stole wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. We'll bring it back to I you. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Well, I'm colored or too, I but I'm just white. You know it all, big city slicker here to demean some good old boys my, my fine white. words. My exact two variety color? of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, oh. defenestration, and crucifixion they, they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Yeah. Imaginative bunch. Good yeah. grief. But lemonade. No love my I bet they're the lemonade guys. Too free with my wisdom and services. K K K. Which no, way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Okay, so. Are you uh, looking for that? Oh, you can tell me. Fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's End. Okay, thanks. Go to Macomb's End. We shall. Well, so much for our shopping spree. But we have to help the doctor out here. So we have a yellow... Ooh, we got a road to follow. Yellow brick road. I was just going to head straight for the X. I should... Uh, probably get that rifle um, upgraded the bolt action but I think it'll it'll do just fine for what we got to do I hope. look at that I just, I just look at the these uh, little cabins and shacks all around Woo. Well, this might disturb my peaceful, easy feeling, but um, it's a worthwhile cause, I'd say. These guys stole this guy's medical wagon. So maybe he'll pay me by giving me some, uh, some medicine. Yeah. Not that I wouldn't do it for free. There's nothing wrong with getting paid either. Now, X is over there. Why can't I just go across the river? I'm following the yellow brick road. What the hell? All right, I'll be good. I'll follow your yellow brick road. That'll probably lead me into some other trouble. I, I wonder if going straight to the X might um, sidestep yeah. any other trouble. You know what I do need to do is look for greenery. Um, I'm, I do not have any herbs. That exit right over there. Can I not go across? I mean, that X is where I'm going, right? Yeah. Well, I can just go straight across. What, what are we going to here? Macomb's End. Um... Well, why can't I go? Uh, you know, they want to. They want to keep me on the road, but I don't. I don't see a reason to stay on the road. Do you? Do you? Of course, I might come across a reason to stay on the road. 
Easy. More gobblers. Rodents. Easy. It's over here. Oh, come on. Get get over here. Get the doctor's yep. wagon. You know, I do need a, um, a three-star one of them. one that's a three I had just announced my arrival with authority gentlemen over there I believe this is on the list guys I think we can scratch another uh, three three star uh, pelt off the list. Where where is it? Yes, we need a boar, a three star boar, and we got it. Yeah, yeah. Now, if I die and lose this pelt, I'm going to be an uh, irritated cowboy. All right, now, I just announced my presence with authority, gentlemen. By killing that wild boar. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up with it, ain't it? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. I know what you about, don't you love him? Go. Ah! Is this what I'm supposed to do? Ah! Get him covered, Arthur. Where's the damn wagon? Just take moonshine. Hey, cop sucker! Where's your wheel? What did he call me? You suck on this. Oh, I'm gonna have fun looting your corpse. If you done, boys, I'll go. Call me that. Son of a gun. Um, can I, uh, I, I should probably improve my health a little bit here. I should have some meat. I should do it if I can get some meat. Uh, I can't find meat. What are we doing? We're taking this wagon. I, there isn't any sign of trouble, so I, I'm gonna loot. Should I? Do, should I not? Should I go quickly back? I never know. 
I can never know whether I should just go quickly back or if I have time for looting. I never know how to do this. Um, and I'll probably hear about that in the comments, um, which is fine. But I don't see any red. I don't see any kind of alerts that would make me think I can't do this. What kind of rifle does he have down there? Is that a carbine? What is it? Yeah. Um, I do believe we're done with this. Uh, follow me, girl. Here. You can't get in the house. Let's get the wagon and get back to the doctor. Okay, come on. Get you back to the doctor. Yep. Yep. I don't know any of this stuff now. I like his, uh, what he has there on the roof there. A little mixing bowl. I uh, should probably uh, have a gun out. Just in case. Yeah. I can't see if he, does he have it? He's got his pistol. Oh, oh, oh. I guess he can't uh, steer with a rifle. I can't steer so good with a pistol either. I can't steer, period. Y'all know that. You've seen that. Coach incoming. Focus your back. I can't see. Just leave it alone, What the hell do you want with this tank? more in there. My horse gonna come? Need a bell. And once again, I need to eat something to fix my... There we go. Bingo. Let's go. Kinda Bell! Is she coming? Dang it, I don't want to have to come back for my horse. Girl, come on! Is she coming? She's coming. Atta girl. Yep. Alright. Now don't spill it, don't spill it. I just spill this wagon now. I cannot use my weapons. We're safe now, I guess. I guess. Now don't, don't bump into somebody. Get a move on, will you? Yeah, well, just, you know, dude. Not know who you're talking to. Don't let it slide. 
Ah, uh, you know this feather, don't you? Oh, my. Well, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. <laughs> but hoppers. I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No. It was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, chronic. see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. I well, we're safe now. All right, uh, what we get? You're gonna show me a, a chance to look at it. No good deed. Special pamphlet. Um, gonna be in the satchel. What's this? What's this cure? Um, beneficial for fortifying health. Ginseng, yarrow, English mace, or milkweed. Very nice. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, can I? Um, a hotel. I think. What the heck is going on here? Would you look at that? Just, um, boy, not only is he a doctor, he is a magician. Look at that. <laughs> I want to spend a night. I, 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 I couldn't find a place to spend a night here, but if somebody in the comments said if I come up here and talk to the bartender, he'll give me a room. In the comments, I think this was the place he said that I could do that. So thank you, comment section. Of course, we are going into a, a saloon, so I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Look out! That, I'm sorry, dude. Hello, Mister. Yeah, but How you, do you do? well, quit, quit being in my face. So, talk to the bartender. Welcome back, Mister. Hi there, folks. Um. How do you do, sir? Nice to see some friendly faces around Wow, here. I mean, traffic jam. Y'all got to walk in the same... Get out of my road. Inspect. They reckon enough of these railroad lines are popping up to put carriage drivers take a on bath. the job. Wonderful. I envy your hey. eminent bliss. Ain't that just the limit? Okay, I need to mosey along. You take hey, fellas. Bunch of drunk graves. Is this the place? Um, this is the place. Is it? That's not the place. It has to be this one. I just paid for a bath. Don't bump into me, you son of a gun. Well, I hope you aren't planning for any more riffraff with any of those raiders. They got a lot of respect in this community, even if they can act up out of turn. We admire traditional values. I just paid here. for yes, a sir. bath. And we respect the manners. And right back in again. I am. You caused enough problems around here. I didn't cause any trouble. I'm trying to find a bath. What are you in the market for? I paid for a bath. Can I get a room for tonight, please? It's ready for you now. Do enjoy. Okay, but for, uh, where do I get my bath? Was it through here? I just, just went outside. Well, where's my bath? I 
that's my room. I paid for a bath. Well, it's a mystery, apparently. Yeah, it's a mystery. All right. Oh, I paid for a bath, dang it. I'm not seeing it. Ah, it beats the heck out of me, man. Well, that, I, that flash in yellow, what is that I guess for? Like Food? Better in here. How can I help you? That's the one. Give me some. Give me He's some of this. Knight. That's your head spot. That looks nice. Now is that thing still going to be flashing yellow? Good eating, ain't it? It is. But I want my bath. Is my bath upstairs? Is that what the deal is? I wouldn't give that bastard a day off from hell. Morning to you. Yeah. Howdy, big boy. That I just figured this out. It's yeah, it's gonna be upstairs and over there. How's your look? Hello. Oh, I'm doing just. That's oh, good. hello. Well, ain't you just my type? Thank you, ma'am. Um. I wouldn't get that. Trying to. Is the bath gonna be up here? Oh, really? Hey, Mister. Apparently not. Well, hello, handsome. You know, you've got the most fascinating eyes. Oh, son of a gun. It was here. How you doing, sir? Can I assist you in there, sir? Sure. Sure, why not? Trust me, you won't regret it. All right. No regrets. Let me know if it's too warm. Hmm. <laughs> Ain't a woman here do a better job than me. <sighs> you gotta treat yourself sometimes, I reckon. Yes, certainly. Ain't often to get a hot bath and a roof over my head. That's so. I don't half gossip around here. Yeah, someone's always kicking up dust around here. Huh. I think we're done. All right, I think that should do it. It was lovely to meet you. Back to my peaceful, easy feeling. All right, now if we can get downstairs peacefully. Archibald told me they found another Braithwaite moonshine still out in the swamps. Morning. Hello, you. <laughs> well, hello, you. Morning, lady. Hey, Big Daddy. Hey, Big Mama. You sure brighten up the place? Thank you, sweetie. There's that son of a bitch I told you about. What? Mm, ain't somebody it doesn't like me? How can somebody not like me? Madam, back here. Howdy, handsome. Howdy, beautiful. All right. Get out the way, son. Pim, there's a you wanna you wanna dance? See you next time. Ah, we shall sleep until noon. And I 
we'll take a break as well. We'll, we'll see you in a couple of minutes. All right. All good. Where am I? Oh, where am I? I'm in my room. He doesn't get to inspect himself. I know my way around here. Good to see you back here, partner. Excuse me, madam. Behind you. Hey, you. Hello. Hey, sugar. Hey, pumpkin. Hey, y'all. Why, hello there, sir. This job is like any other. Well, hello there. Hard. Ladies. Good work. Hello. Howdy, sweet cakes. Um. Hey. Uh, gunsmith, where was that? Don't run over my hoss. Where was the gunsmith? He's right down here. There, girl. Storm brewing. I believe he was oh, right down here. Uh, let me, do I not have it marked anymore? Yeah, there he is. Oh, I forgot. If I do that, I let go. We need a stable so we can get her name spelled proper. No? Sorry. Dang it. Dang me! Now let's get out of the storm and, uh, which way are you going? Okay. Where, you know, you don't have blinkers? I guess not. Rooms. Hey, hey. Nice to see you again, partner. So, what are you in the market for? Guns. What, if, what else do you sell here? Revolvers? Cattlemen? No, thank you. Schofield. Now, that volcanic is intriguing. But y'all say right here. So, we're going to get one. We're going to get another one. Chose well. Components. Uh, I can prove the accuracy of that, you know. Length. There you go. Well, it comes with a long barrel. It comes that way. Okay. Or did it not? Did I... What did I do? Did I upgrade that? I think I did. Nice. All right. Iron this here stores as proud and yep. fine as the town that lives in. Oh, yes. All right. Grip. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Ooh. Really make us sing. Pearl grips. Pearl grips. I have one myself. Got some nice parts for that it. gun, you know. Ammo. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. Max it out. That's a pretty gun. 
Um, did I not buy two? Um, oh, buy secondary. Opponents, grip, you know where hey, we're going. Hey, you know that gun could use yeah. a few choice parts. Really make a sing. Fine choice. Woo Barrel. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. So why is the short barrel more expensive than the long barrel? I want the long barrel. Does it come with? It comes with. Very nice. All right. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make us sing. Components? Well, we did this. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Yeah, I know. We got, oh, styles. Metal. That could really shine with some carbon. Engravings. Right? Apparently, I can't do any of that. Well, um, apparently not. Um, carvings? Well, not in a pearl handle, you don't. Um... Metals. Oh, we can change the color. I make sure to test all my goods for quality and defects. That's a guarantee. Trigger. I don't know if that looks good or not, man. I gotta tell you, we 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 can. Um, Yeah, that looks good. Ha! Ha! Now, I do have some foreign-made iron when it's quality, but here in Rhodes, American is preferred. I like it. I like it. I'm tempted, tempted to get this, you guys, but um, I won't. We got the two we need. I do want a pump-action shotgun if we can get one. We already have that. Do we have a pump action? We do! Is that the only pump action? Semi-auto shotgun. Are, are, those are locked yeah, if you to got me, any but the pump action is available. We shall purchase that. Yeah. Had to have it, eh? Compon oh, yeah. Barrel. I can put some sights on that if you're Wait. interested. There we go. Let's let's lengthen it. All right. All right, fully. Oh yeah. And iron sights. Weapons only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. Nice. Shows well. A stock. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. All right. Good. And uh, wrap. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Had to have it, eh? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's, um, let's, um, 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 let's get back to it. Um, I want, I want ammo. Um, for it. Revolver pistol, um, repeater, rifle, 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 um, shotgun shells. We want slugs. That's all we, all we want is slugs. We have 70. I mean, there's no reason that I, well, regular buckshot, well, buckshot's not bad, but we'll, we'll stay with this. Max it out. Much admired in these parts. Oh, I want arrows. Um, double bundle. Um, can we get... Um, improved arrows here, or do I have to make those myself? Well, let's buy... Let's buy some, because I only have 17. All right. 
Lancaster. Uh, this here stores as proud and fine as the town it lives in. We oh, could yes. get another one of these and have two, right? Haha. <laughs> Upgrade holster. Um. So just one upgrade. Oh, upgraded gun belt. Uh, what's the benefits? What are the benefits? Um. Sold a few of those to some very discerning customers. Um. Can I look at it? Um, I don't know. I can't look at it. I, I want to look at it first. A Lancaster. A Lancaster holster. Now, let's look at it. All right. Might as well buy some gun oil. It doesn't look like I have any. Just in case we need to uh, clean up our weapons when we're out and about and far away. Upgraded gun belt for 43 bucks. Uh, oh, increases capacity for revolver and pistol ammo by 50. Well, sure. Okay, I didn't read that. So what? So now, what is this? This will do what? Permanently increases capacity for repeater, rifle, and shotgun ammo. Well, sure. No one reading it. And that, those are the only arrows I can buy? Accessories. That's where we were. All right, that's that. Like what you see? Yeah, I think I'm we're done. I'm a bit of a hunting enthusiast, as you may have surmised. Thank you, sir. That's it for now. And, um... Matt? And we picked up a couple of side missions, did we not? We did. Yeah, I see him. I see him. Um, oh, I, I've been wanting to get this photographer dealt with. Um, Albert, I wanted to do him. He shows up and disappears and shows up and disappears. First things first, uh, back to camp. Let's get that pelt uh, done. And then uh, JC, bring it back up. Break into Jeremiah's Comp, I mean, Jeremiah Compson's house and recover his pose as she owns. Okay, uh, first what we're going to do, I want to get this pelt, and that might even uh, complete a satchel um, for us. Man, this storm. So I think what we'll do is camp uh, as soon as we get far enough away from town to camp and then fast travel back to our main camp and uh, get that pelt uh, before I get killed and lose it. Oh, shush. Um, how, how far away do I have to be to camp and then fast travel? It's not that far to, to run, but I don't want to come across any lemonade stands. Yeah, I can camp right here. I'm going to feed him, too, because he looked pretty skinny in that bath, didn't he? Uh, craft items. Let's eat. Um, and see, I don't have any herbs, so I can't do any recipes. Well, let, let's eat this pork. We, we need to eat a bunch. You need to get some meat on your bones, Arthur. Cook another. That is not... Oh, I didn't equip the pistols. That's the Mauser. We need to equip those pistols that we just bought. Need another one. I'm back. Us. 
Well, craft. I, I was looking to craft something. Um. Oh, here we go. I can make. Revolver cartridges that are explosive. Well, let's do it. You just make one at a time. I could only make three, but we did. Um, arrows, arrows. Um, I wanted to improve the arrows if I could. Proof throwing knife. Let's do that. Proof Tomahawk, let's do that. Um, special horse medicine. Let's make some. Okay, we just need one of those. A horse ointment. What's it do? Oh, okay. Let's make some. Yeah. What I was hoping to do was craft some improved arrows. I did not see um, that as an option. Ah, small game arrow. Um, ingredients. Make some. Is he going to only do one at a time? He's going to do one at a time. Oh, good grave. That should be enough. I think we uh, uh, three. Uh, I want to make sure that we. Could, I think we need to use that on a snake. Can you believe this game wants you to shoot a snake with a bow? I mean, that's come on, man. Uh, uh, that's just come on, come on. Improved arrow. This is what we want to do. Effects. Well, let's do this. Let's do the improved arrows. In case we come across any kitty cats. Because I still need a pelt from a uh, cougar and a panther. Keep making them. Make them all. Well, that's all he can make. Okay. Leave. Fast travel. Clemens Point. Yay! Oh, I wanted to buy some clothes. Well, that's okay. We got to go back through town to go up there and uh, uh, break into that guy's house and get his belongings back. And we might as well stay in camp and let this uh, storm blow over. I, I like that fast travel thing. It is just great in those kind of circumstances. Um, very nice. Okay, let's um, give this pelt to Cookie. Where's Cookie? Um, um, butcher shop, uh, kind of, kind of thing. Um, uh, butcher knife. Um, Sadie. Hey, man. Hi, folks. Don't, don't. Hey, you joining us, Dan? You look pissed off. I, I didn't Not antagonize her. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Okay, Arthur. Hey, man, don't, don't, uh, 
Don't horn in on my woman here. Uh, well, let's get this done. <laughs> my woman. Listen to me. Um, what are you wearing? Thinking of switching to the other side? <laughs> what? Oh, where can I where can I donate? Oh, here. There he is, the proud Englishman. Don't fight other man's battles, yeah, yeah. boy. And anyway, my family weren't even English. Okay, um, I'm going to find that pelt. Where is it? There it is. You'll be able to make something nice with that. Okay, now let's look at, um... If you're struggling for space in your satchel, just bring me the right material. We can make one. Boom! Materials satchel. Info. Increases the carry capacity for most inedible materials. Make that for me, Pearson. Looks great, Pearson. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's ugly as sin. All right, so now here we need a raccoon, and we can do this one. Provisions. Uh, we need two things for here. We need the elk and the panther, and we need a badger and a squirrel, and we need an elk here, so two elk. How's it going? And all we need here is a beaver. We are making progress. Yeah, baby. How's things? I can upgrade stuff. Um, John's lodging. Is that going to cost anything? Uh, a pelt. Main campfire. Okay, I see. Scout camp. Elk bones. Let's put some elk bones up on the scout. Oh, I've already done that. Okay. Um, I can donate you some food here. Maybe. Uh, looks like I can't. That's gonna do it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I um I can't get to my weapons. That looks like a nice revolver. To um, switch them out till I leave camp. So, I did want to buy some clothes. Got so excited about the guns. Uh, we will set a course for Jeremiah Johnson, or <laughs> Jeremiah Compson. Um, but first, first, uh, well, let's have some coffee. That always helps. So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Uh, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. Not in you, sir. I, I want to break away from you. I want to steal your woman and run away to Alaska and uh, get a gold mine going. Looks like the evening is coming, so um, we can take a nap and uh, start off fresh in the morning. We'll hit town, buy some clothes. Go want to shave? Yeah, nah. And, uh, oh, weapons locker. Let's put away some of this other stuff here. Um, Billy Midnight's pistol. 
is a um, I don't want that. I'm gonna put it away. I, I want to put that away. Double action revolver. Um. Uh, store it. Schofield. Uh, equip. Schofield. Equip. Double barrel shotgun. Um. Store. Sawed off shotgun is already stored. Pump action. Um. Um, I want to put it on a horse. Pump action. Uh, equip the back. Um, carbine repeaters already stored. Lancaster, we want to keep. Springfield, varmint. Bolt action. Is already on the horse, I think. Bow. Rolling block stored. All right, I think all that is squared away. And... We shall sleep until morning. And I will see you in the morning. Good night, y'all. Sleep warm. Oh, hey, um, I was, I was just thinking about those improved arrows and, and, uh, Reminded me of a story, you know, using the, the arrows to kill a snake. Um, I never did that. But uh, this story, I, I um, way back in the day, I had myself my own private uh, shooting range, you know, for target practice. And so I'm going out there with the 22 because for target practice, you, you use a 22 because the ammo's a lot cheaper. I think then it was like $9.99 for 100 uh, rounds of uh, 22 longs. I uh, went up later to I think 19.99, but I think at this time it was like 9.99 for for them. Anyway, so got my ammo, got my 22, and I've got a target, a new target that I was going to set up, and it was uh, it was a cardboard um, uh, crate cover, I think for a refrigerator, thick cardboard that you know that like uh, that you would put over a refrigerator when you're shipping it. So it was about maybe six feet or maybe taller and maybe two and a half feet wide, and I put my target on it. And I'm pacing off out there at my uh, my own uh, uh, target range. It was about 15 minutes out of town, out in the desert. And uh, I'm pacing off 100 yards. That's 109 meters, for those of you on the metric system. And uh, so I'm counting, and I get to, you know, I'm pacing, you know, pacing it out. And... Um, I, I, I'm, it's like, you know, 97, 98, and I hear the loudest rattlesnake rattle I've ever heard in my life. Now, I can't see in front of me, right? Because I've got that box. I get my hands in here. This is wider than that. I'm carrying a box that's, and, and it's blocking my view in front of me. So I didn't see it. And it was a Mojave green, the only Mojave green I have ever seen in my whole life. They are very rare uh, to see them. If you don't know what a Mojave green is, uh, think of a diamondback rattlesnake on steroids. Now, if you get bit by a, a, a diamondback, uh, you'll be all right, uh, it, it won't, unless it you know bites you up high, you know, around your heart or something. It bites you in the leg. You, you're probably going to be all right, just like when Arthur got bit by that cottonmouth uh, last episode or a couple episodes ago. And um, it, it won't kill you if you're a healthy, full-grown adult. I mean, it might kill a kid. But anyway. Uh, a Mojave Green, you've got 20 minutes in, of life left. 20 minutes. I'm 15 minutes outside of town. Um, I found that information out from a doctor. Uh, told me that. And, and, and uh, we'll get to him in just a second. Um, and there's this Mojave Green. And it struck at me. I saw it. I mean, I heard the rattle. 
So I moved the box aside, you know, I moved the box aside. So, I, and I, oh my God. And I saw it and it struck, it struck lightning fast. Well, hard to believe, but, um, for you maybe, but I didn't always have white hair <laughs> and I used to be, uh, a quick as lightning myself and I jumped back and it missed me. But like, if, if, if this is my knee, I mean, it missed my knee. I saw its fangs. I saw its fangs, its eyeballs, it, you know, it, because it's down by my knee. It's not far away from me. And those fangs, you know, those fangs like this, you know, came right at my knee, you know, and I just snapped back. Missed me by that much. I'm not exaggerating. It missed my jeans by that I'm looking right at it, you know, and, and I had jumped back. And I jump back. I throw the box at it, and I jump back again, and it strikes again, but it can't strike very far because it's not coiled, right? They have to be they have to be coiled in order to get you know the maximum distance they can strike. So he missed me again, and I turn and ran. If they had a stopwatch on me, I would have broken the world record for the hundred yard dash. I'll tell you what, no doubt about it, it's because the rifle is back at the car, <laughs> you know, hundred yards away. So so I sprint back there. I'm flying. I'm and I look back over. It's chasing me. It was a, that aggressive. A, a rattlesnake, a diamondback, or a sidewinder, they won't chase you like that. They, they just rattle to tell you, hey, get away from me. I'm right here. Get away from me. And you get away from them, and that's fine. A diamondback is aggressive as all get out. I mean, a, green, a Mojave green. This, this thing was chasing me. Anyway, I get to the car and, and, and get to 22, and it's not loaded. So now I gotta load it, right? I'm just, you know, jamming them in, you know, one bullet at a time. You know, I get about a dozen bullets in there, and I killed Mojave Green. Um, and um, I, I managed to get a bullet right behind its head, you know, right, right behind its head, high in the neck, near, near the back of its head, and it um, d d didn't decapitate it completely. You know, its head was just hanging on by a thread, uh, and I pumped about six more into it and killed it. And I cut the rattles off, and I put the rattles on that hat. Um, uh, that hat, right? I can't get it. that hat. And I, those rattles were on there for, I don't know, 10 years or so, and I lost them. I don't know what happened to them. I can't remember, but I did lose them. But I, the rattles on a, on a Mojave Green, are, these were the biggest rattles I'd ever seen, man. They were bigger than any, uh, you know, Diamondback or um, um, uh, Timber Snake, you know, Rattlesnake. And uh, anyway... I cut the rattles off, you know, a nice little trophy, you know, and um, I decided not to have target practice, you know, and uh, uh, I, I picked up my box with the target on it, and uh, I went back to the car just like, jeez Louise, man, and I didn't know how potent their poison was at that moment, but I drive back home, and my next door neighbor is a doctor who's a dentist, uh, Mike, hey, Mike, Mike's not going to ever watch this, um, but I, I'd known Mike since high school. Uh, he's a great athlete. Uh, uh, anyway, um, Mike's out there watering his front yard when I pull up, and I tell him about it, and he says, he says, did you get the head? And I said, no. And, and he says, we need the head. He says, you got to go back. you got to get the head. We need it for anti-venom. He says, we're very, very low on anti-venom venom for Mojave Greens. He says, and it's extremely important because you get bit by a Mojave Green. He says, you're dead in 20 minutes. And I said, whoa. I said, well, if that thing had hit me, I mean, it would have been touch and go if I got back to, to, into the hospital in time. He says, yeah. He, said, he says, get it. He says, go. So I get in the car and I drive back. Uh, to look for it, but it was gone. I think a hawk or an owl uh, probably flew off with the carcass, you know. And uh, so I drive back, you know, and, and, and uh, Mike's waiting for me. He was ready to take it to the clinic, you know, to the lab so that they could, um, you know, milk it for its venom so they could make anti-venom from it. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that story. So, you know, how anybody thinks they could, uh, I don't know, I thought of that, but I was thinking about shooting a uh, a snake with a bow. I don't know how anybody think they'd get away with that. Uh, let me get my headsets on. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. <laughs> I forgot what we're doing. Oh, yeah. We are going to get... Um, what's his name? Jeremiah's uh, possessions back from some... Uh, 
Uh, bad guys that uh, kicked him out of his house? I don't know. All right, let's go do that. Let's get going. Um, let's go. Without further ado, and there's my new pump action shock gear. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wait a minute. My pistols? My pearl handle pistols? I can't I can't get the camera on them very well. Hey, baby. All right, let's get. Um, I, I don't know how long the video's been so far, um, so I might not go buy clothes. I should buy clothes, but let's, let's get him first because we probably have to get back to town, um, to, um, to give him his stuff and then we'll, uh, we'll buy some clothes, man. Yes, we will. You all right, girl. I didn't mean to do that. She's still dusty, though. Hey, have this, girl. Let's All right. Go, girl. As soon as we get away from camp, I'm going to see how we're equipped. We should be equipped the way I want, though. All right, let's get on. Yeah. Winchester. Bold action. I should have Schofield and Schofield. Yeah, we're happy. All right, let's get. I see how long this video is. Um, not because I'm worried about length. You guys are so, so nice about not worrying about the length of these. Um, uh, but because it takes, it'll take a long time to get it uh, up, up on YouTube. And I want to get it up in time, um, you know, before people are going to bed and whatnot. Damn, we got a new satchel, man. Progress, eh? Yeah. So we'll get this done. We'll go get some uh, some fancy smancy clothes or better clothes. I don't know how I can make him look with the clothes. I know how I. Let's show him how free men do some. Yep. See you, you. You, go, you better believe you're dead. Shit. I can't find him. You're gonna grovel under our boot like all the others. Yeah, we'll see about that. Get over here. Get over here, you coward. Get over here. Lemonade. Yep. Give me 
all your money. Give me your three dollars. You turkey. Shoot me up like that. Give me your four dollars and sixty six cents. Anything in a wagon? Apparently. You calm down now. Easy oh. then, easy. You know what? Let's just cut it free. So it doesn't run if I have to blow something up in here. Yeah, I can't get up there. Apparently there's not a milk truck. Son of a gun blew. They're trying to rob a milk truck? Now give me your two bucks. How much you got? Four thirty-six. Two dollars. Gold pocket watch. What's over here? Buzzard food. There we go. Got a couple more. Don't we? Robbing a dairy truck. Yep. Buzzard food now. You just buzzard food now. Let's go look at the horse. Nobody cares if I kill you. Nobody even cares. That's how much of a scum bucket you are. Nobody cares when I kill you. I didn't do this. Oh, that's a woman up there. Oh, let's go up and help her. So something killed her horse. Trust him much either. You seem like a horse rider. Yeah, your whole life I bet. 
Horse don't help much in La Grano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bucked, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. Ooh. Horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. Gators. Then the horse fell and died for a part time, it's gonna come out with a rifle on him. And there's <laughs> no word of lie. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Yeah. Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Le Grath? Well, that's how life is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? Yeah. I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? Never. I ask you. Never. It was a long time. No fence. But I bet it's been a long time for you. Weren't no need. I never leave my home. You gonna call it humble, and it is. And I ain't no more proud than I need to be. But it feels good having something your own. Ain't no boy, ain't no boss man, ain't no train gonna take that from me. I was reading, reading what you were saying, and uh, kind of trash. Optimistic, man. I'll say that. No, Mister. I die for me and mine, and that's the damn truth. No word of a lie. But you kind, mister. Well, thanks. What I hit? We getting close, don't die. I ran now. over something. Roadkill. Yeah. What it was. on account of you being so kind. A silver. Hope I never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. Okay. <laughs> Let's go see if we can pick up our roadkill here. If it's not rotten. <laughs> Pleasant. That's a fine log. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I guess, I, 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 where was the roadkill? I guess I passed it. Let's get it. Still got my peaceful, yeah. easy feeling going on. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. This has been, this has been a nice, whoa, 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 whoa. We could use. Easy, easy. Some food. And I spooked them all the way. Yeah. Yep. I mean, we could investigate this joint. Um. Back. 
All right. Let us hitch her here. You rest up now. And this is a sneak thing, right? Uh, maybe we wait till dark. Regardless, um, nature calls. I need to uh, take a break. Uh, sometimes when nature calls, she really calls. All right, let's, uh, let's sneak on up. Um, I've got all my weapons. Uh, we need to uh, we need to do this um, stealthily, stealthily. Well, there just aren't any herbs down here in Louisiana or Missouri, wherever we are. Uh, I don't see. It's all boarded up. to get in the house so there's gonna be uh, trouble inside no doubt uh, by, by order of judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all <laughs> items here into the bank of roads right. M Holden judge Holden Henrietta Blackley clerk November 18th 1895 so they didn't kick him out. I mean, okay. I I was thinking he uh, can I open that. Yeah, I think so. Um, they evicted him. I was thinking something else. I I thought like, I, well, it's hard for me to pay attention um, to everything. Uh, I was thinking maybe uh, they. Um, I, know, I was thinking something else. That they, they, they. I probably don't want to be making a bunch of noise. Um. They, 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 they took, they took it like, like some guys uh, uh, took it from him. like there's anybody here so I don't need to sneak. Let's get the horse up here. Okay, so I got to hot foot it out of here. I don't want to hot foot it. I want to ride. Uh, back door? It's going to be down there. Uh, boarded up to dynamite. I'm gonna blow it, blow our, blow our way in. Same thing. So it's an eviction notice. How do I get in? Well, Ledger, <laughs> watch, pistol. Ledger, watch, pistol.
can't I can't take it. I gotta just leave it there. Ledger watch pistol. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Pistol watch ledger. Baked beans. Now I want to open the uh, cabinet. Can I open the bottom? Same one. All right. Um, it won't let me open the the bottom. did this. Alright, um, pistol. Um, oh, whoa, here we go. Ledger, is this the ledger? Oh, quit walking, son. He just, he's just, it's, is that my controller doing that? It's, I'm not touching the controller, he just keeps wandering. There we go. April 2nd, 1870. Compson. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Um... That was not the ledger. Um, oh, here we go. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay. And his music is kind of freaking me out a little bit. Not freaking me out. Okay. You know, I don't get freaked out. Is all this it's, old uh, crap. Oh, search door. Oh. Three of them? Three drawers? Nothing in any of them. Okay. Did we search? We didn't search. Oh, there's another um, thing over there. Okay. Let's get this first. Cigarette cards. Pistol in here? I'm looking at the radar. I'm not seeing any red stuff come up on me. Uh, where was that other? Um, there it is. Ah, there's the watch. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Nothing in the fireplace. Apparently. 
ledger and an old pistol. Uh, is there an upstairs? Uh, we've, we've been in that room, right? Is there an upstairs? Have we been in here? Ah, uh, it is. Well, it's something. Um, okay, we know that's there, we know that's there. Okay, let's look, let's look at this first. Um, actually, I should just get what I need and get the hell out of here. Uh, trap door, huh? Trap door? What? <laughs> well, that's a good thing I did that. <laughs> what you uh -oh. doing here? Or not. We found this place first. Okie yeah, dokie. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours. <laughs> that's not a revolver, that's a flintlock. <laughs> Yeah. Son of a bitch. You're in trouble now, dude. Oh, God damn it. Damn it. Come on, man. Where are you going? Come on. We're going to have my fight. Son of a bitch. How you doing there? Squatters. Knife fight. Anymore? Wow, they didn't let me uh, use my gun. It just went right to the knife on its own. I did not do that. Um, What do we need? And what do we need? A journal and a pistol. And I'm bleeding. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow Man. employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. A man like you? What? What was? What was Mr. Thompson all about? Um. Swap hat, pick up stranger. Um, I need that. I need. Um, oh, was the flintlock his pistol that he wants? So this uh, this squatter, can I pick up the pistol? The squatter had his pistol. Compson's pistol. Oh, flintlock. Oh, that'll be the pistol. It's <clears throat> just the ledger now. Oh, uh, trap door. It's got to be in a trap door. There was some more. Of, uh, I don't know what that's all about. What's this? Uh, let's get this and um, um, trap door. Um. Ha! Paw. God damn it told you to stay away from the boy he don't want this heck none of us want nothing to do with you Rance. um stay away from the boy he don't is um is jeremiah a pedophile okay get your guns out get your gun out don't let me it's a cutscene. Lantern. Shit. Shit. Um. I saw some. That that's the ledger right there to my right. Or this is. Um. Open. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. <sighs> Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. 
June 64. Well, that's not the ledger because we gotta return it. Um, this must be it. Maybe? This your ledger? A list of slaves? Oh. Uh, rewards. Okay. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Okay, we can take this. So that's it. That's everything we need. So, he was a slave dealer. Why is that still giving me butterflies in the sky there. Something else here? Um. Oh, the chains. The 50 lashes. Jeremiah. I was thinking, he, and why am I still getting the flashes over here? The, the butterflies over here. Jeremiah was not what I thought he was. I thought he was, it doesn't give me any search. I, oh, look at the radar, you bonehead. Make sure you don't have trouble coming. Jeremiah, I was thinking, was a, a sympathetic soul or a soul to be sympathetic to. Um, no, just the opposite. There's no upstairs. Uh, can we get out that we can't get out that door where's the door we came in at um yeah uh whoops i think i already did this right um i saw an exam and i don't want to miss anything you know well we got everything we need um and jeremiah um not going to be sympathetic to him at all. I was thinking he was somebody that, you know, down on his luck, got some, got a bad break, and um, we're helping him out. Yep. But he sounds like one sadistic, messed up person. And I do not plan to be nice to him. Whether I'm supposed to be nice to him or not, I do not know. Is that him? Camping nearby? Graveyard? They forgot about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... Oh, hell. Rack and ruin. Rack and damn ruin. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. <coughs> oh, man. Show some respect. No. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride. The respect accorded to a gentleman. gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Piss Slave on runner. my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do they are pissed What are you doing? That's, that's my history. I gotta, I gotta replay that. I gotta, I gotta watch this. Uh, what do you say? Some legends are only good for pissing on or something. You. Damn you! 
I still exist. Who's going to shoot me? Oh. <laughs> you sucker. Oops. Um, I have to go straight to the compendium for that. That's what you deserve. My honor actually went up for doing that. Wow. Um, what do I do now? I don't even know. I don't even know. Excuse me, I need a break. I'll be right back at you. Well, uh, that's it. I'm done. Uh, you know, anyway, uh, let's, uh, teleport back. I uh, forget the shopping spree. Um, let's just teleport back to camp and call it a video. Ah. Uh, You know, I had a nice, peaceful, easy feeling going on, and uh, Jeremiah just ruined it. But, he's gone. And so, uh, Fast travel, Clemens Point. I didn't know if I was supposed to shoot him or not, but I, it worked out. I mean, shooting him increased my honor. So, okay. I was just going to, I don't know if I was just going to leave him or what, but that worked. It worked out. like this fast travel ability. You have entered legend. Oh, yeah, legend. there's a legendary uh, fish over here, I think. That's what they're talking about. Uh, they're hurting for food again. You, you know, you guys eat too much. Everybody but Arthur. Uh, yeah, y'all are fat. You got... Ah, oh, jeez, I'm done. Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Where's the chuck wagon? Um, there should be some chow. Evening, Arthur. Hey, huh? boy. Um, crafting, donate. Uh, I might have some. How you gentlemen keep it? I might have some food. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. I must say, y'all, all this adventure and wandering over mountain passes, being chased and running for our lives, sure he agrees with you. That's all I can do. Good job. I think he's the same age as them silly girls. Away with you, silly man! Oh no, no! If I was five years younger. Oh, and a Good thousand evening, dollars sir. richer? Well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. Yeah. And that'd be the best decision I ever took. <laughs> You're a fine woman. Oh, you keep it hidden under that sour vinegar face, nasty acid tongue. But I know that's just a rose's thorns. Evening. <laughs> You're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake. Oh, no, I tell the truth, ma'am. I must get back to hey, Taylor. Ah. Uh, oh, there's something about that woman. I was putting food out, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Pearson. What's the sheriff's costume all about? Sheriff's costume? Damn it, Pearson. It okay, considering. Glad to hear. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we'll get him um, fed, and uh, 
and the video. Hey, Jack, how you doing? Hello, Uncle Arthur. I'm going to catch fireflies tonight. All right. Those are fun. Looked like a snake right there, didn't it? Ah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do appreciate y'all very much, very much, and uh, I had a good time. I, I did. Uh, it, it it was fun. Uh, a fun one. Um, it just kind of left a... I mean, never mind. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves. And uh, I will see you on the next one.